I'm a pediatric hand surgeon. I take care of a lot of hand and wrist injuries in kids. I'm also a mom. Uh, and also recently had a hand injury in my family. Um, but now that school's getting started, we see a lot of um, different fingers and wrist injuries. School gets started, football's getting started, soccer's getting started. So we see a lot of finger injuries, a lot of falls. And so I think the thing to look for um, if that happens is first sort of assess to see how your child's doing, um, see if anything's specifically tender. So the things I look for if I'm out on the field or if I'm with my own kids is if there's point tenderness in a finger. If a finger looks crooked, that's kind of a time where you'd be a little bit more worried. If you have swelling or bruising, definitely bring kids in to see us. Same thing about the wrist. If the wrist looks kind of funny, if it's very tender, if it's sore, it's really good to get an x-ray, come in, take a look. You know, one of the things to bring your child in um, more emergently to the emergency room is when you see blood or you actually see something that's a little more concerning or pain can't be controlled at home with Tylenol ibuprofen, really give us a call or come into the emergency room to be seen. I think sometimes just making sure you're really providing ice and rest and mobilization and then get things evaluated with x-rays can be really helpful. I'll just give a little personal caveat. I have been called recently by the school. Same thing happened. My son got hit by a ball. His thumb was swollen. They put ice on it. It was great. I came in. I felt of it. It was really kind of sore. We took him in for x-ray. He did have a little break, but we got him splinted up and he's healing great. But I understand we all go through it, um, but we take care of kids and make sure we get them seen quickly.